Morning everybody. Now, I you're watching this video because you want to see how to hang the peony wallpaper from Farrow and Ball. I've hung that wallpaper and it looks fantastic and following on from this little introduction you will see how I hang it. Now it was quite a lengthy video so I've had to trim it down and um, crop because I know you'd be bored if I was doing an hour and a half an hour and a half's worth of videoing but in the video I've looked back and there's certain elements of it that I probably need to explain a little bit more than me who's a professional painter and decorator clearly a professional paper hanger um, how I'm actually doing the wallpapering and being a professional and not an amateur I thought I might want to just do this little bit of a introduction into hanging this paper because I do have a question mark over the instructions that came with the wallpaper. Now me being experienced with wallpaper hanging I adjusted what I was doing quite early on to make sure that the end product and the end finish was fantastic and it was and you'll see at the end that the video it, the overall effect is fantastic it's a lovely paper it's a lovely effect on the wall but if you're reading the instructions i've got them in my back pocket for the first time you might not understand everything and in the video i do explain about the pattern match and the half drop now i'm going to show you something you'll probably already already see it on the video right this is this is the instruction sheet that comes with it now on here it tells you what the pattern repeat is now that's clearly every time the pattern repeats on that paper there's a set sequence to it and on this paper the pattern repeat is of 62.8 now there's an emblem down here that the professionals among us all know which is two arrows one's there and one's there now to me that means a half drop on your pattern or staggered so if your pattern match is repeating every 62.8 that half drop means that you'll put one length on but your second length will be dropped by half the distance of what the pattern match is, which is 31.4. It's all straightforward. Now I've done the video and I've done my pattern match and I've got the wallpaper on and it looks fantastic. But I think I might just need to clarify what this paper is actually like to hang because there might be a little bit of confusion. I have spoke to Farrow and Ball, I have spoke to their technical and let's just put it this way, I think I'm probably right in thinking that the information on here for the pattern matching isn't correct. Du, 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 shock horror. Now the reason for me saying that is I looked online on the Farrow and Ball website for what this pattern match was and it said online about the 62.8 pattern repeat, that's thrown off. I went into the shop, I checked on the back of the paper and you'll see probably a picture there what it says on the back of the paper for the pattern match. So I knew when I was measuring up how much paper I needed and I had an idea of what the pattern match will be for hanging it. So that's all straightforward. But when the instructions came for hanging in here, and clearly there's lots of information when there's four sides, a lot of it's common sense, but not read the instructions, always read the instructions. I was a little bit question, question marked, and I've said in the video, I question marked whether it was actually classed as a half drop, because that symbol there is a half drop. Now underneath that, logo symbol there is can you just see it says 23.8 centimeters i have no reference anywhere in these instructions what that 23.8 centimeters relates to are you following me i know so let's go let's go with it let me explain in this section that how you go about doing a wallpaper that has a pattern repeat of 62.8 going off the back of a half drop emblem. Well, let's make it quite easy for you. I've got some lengths of paper and I'm going to show you. 
hopefully I can stick them to uh, Doris the door and I'll explain. Right, the first length you'll pull off and you'll balance it and do what you need to do. So this is length number one. Let's get the tape and I'm going to stick it up. I've pre-marked it because I've already tried it all out. There is length number one. What a lovely paper that is. Now, hopefully you can see, let's bring you in a bit. Hopefully you will see that flower there repeats here. Now I've marked it with the red marker at the top of each flower. Now that is a distance of 62.8 between there and there. Hopefully you can see it, yeah? Now halfway between, i.e. a half drop, is there at 31.4. Real straightforward. So I come now with my second length to match up against that edge. So I've got my second length, and what you do, you pull it off, you pull it off the roll and you adjust it and you move it up until you can let me take that until you can actually get the pattern match so it's not matching there it's not matching there it's coming up and I have marked it and I'm matching just there and that is a lovely match matches matches and the half drop there is 30 31.4 Correct, half drop. Let's mark that up now. So we are matching. Right, to all the paper hangers out there, you know if a half drop is the paper, and that's what it's saying. How you would measure this is, this is length number one, this is length number two. Length number three that goes there should match the same as length number one. Length number two would match the same as length number four, because we're half dropping. Every other one will be the same. So I've now got length three on the board, and I'm gonna show you what I mean. This is length number three, and I'm gonna match it up against length number two. Hopefully you'll still see me all right. Stepping over things. This is length number three. Now, I have got it matching, and it is there. That matches lovely, and this is how I was when I was actually doing the papering. I've actually got it matching, that's fine. But let's just see whether this matches length number one, because this should be the same as what length number one is. It's not, it does not match length number one. So why does that not match length, length number one when it's supposed to be a half drop? It's matching. It's matching as number three against number two, but it's not matching number one. So be careful when you get your lengths going. Now, I knew that this was happening, and because I cut a couple, I could adjust it for my next lengths. Now, you're going to go back to me and say, Phil, it's probably not half dropping at 31.4. It might be that 23.8 number. I've measured everywhere to see whether the drop is anywhere between 23.8 or even half in that, it's 11.9. And do you know what? It doesn't. So I'm going to show you something else. Let's, let's move these along because these match. I'm going to now match up. Let's get rid of these. I'm now going to match up number three and number four. 
So we've got three, and we know three matches against number two. We're a little bit crude on this wall, aren't we, using um, dice to door. Right. This is length number three. And I've got length number four to match up against length number three. And I've got the match. And this is how we were in the video. I've actually got the match. It's matching. But do you know what? Length number four does not match length number two. It is dropping down every so often. But it's not dropping down at half drop and it's also not dropping down at what could, could be that 23.8. So you tell me why the pattern is not corresponding to the instructions or why are the instructions wrong on this paper? Because it is very confusing. I'm going to stick this one up. So we've now got length number three and number four on the board. And as you can see on the board, on the door, and they actually match. So out of four lengths, none of them are corresponding with each other, as in doing a traditional half drop. Number one matching number three, number two matching number four drop. Why is that? Now you're going to say to me, Phil, well, does number one match number four? I'll show you. Now, if you look at number one, let's look at this big flower here. Now, the distance between there and there is, I'm going to say two inches, between the top of there and the two inches. This is length number four. And can you see, we've got the same flower here as there. But where is it? It matches with me having three inches above it. I don't think you can see that. It matches, but the paper is three inches up, which means I'm short by three inches at the bottom. And it's the same this side. You can see where I've got my marks. Let's correspond it there. This is higher up. Why is it not flowing through matching somewhere? So that is the question of the day. Are the instructions wrong? Have I got it wrong? I haven't got it wrong because I've done this paper and it looks brilliant. But I've only managed to understand it because I am a skilled paper hanger. To anybody that's buying this at £144 a roll, you may be very confused on how to get the pattern match, particularly if you're aware of half drop pattern with a pattern repeat. And the pattern repeat being that 62.8, you would expect it on a half drop of 31.4. It's clearly not matching anywhere unless you physically offer your length up and match it to the piece that you've already got on the wall. Then you will know that you've got the correct pattern match. And I had the correct pattern match and the wall feature wall looks brilliant but just be aware that it could catch you out with the instructions. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna link the video of hanging to the end of this. See you on the next one.